Welcome to the Bible in 365 Days. This is episode 313, and today I'll be reading Romans chapter 11 and 12. Today's prayer is from Plow.com. Lord our God, we are your children who come before you and stand in your presence. Be with us and be our light in all situations of life, in all hardships and grief. Be our light as you have always been. Reveal your power so that the world may know you as we have come to know you. Give us joyful readiness to preserve until your day comes. For the brightness of your day will shine through all darkness and will end all evil. To the glory of your name, we pray. Amen. Chapter 11 I say then, hath God cast away his people? God forbid. For I also am an Israelite, of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. God hath not cast away his people, which he foreknew. What ye not, what the scripture saith of Elias, how he maketh intercession to God against Israel, saying, Lord, they have killed thy prophets, and dig down thine altars, and I am left alone, and they seek my life. But what saith the answer of God unto him? I have reserved to myself seven thousand men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. Even so then, at this present time also, there is a remnant according to the election of grace. And if by grace, then is it no more of works? Otherwise grace is no more grace. But if it be of works, then is it no more grace? Otherwise work is no more work. What then? Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. According as it was written, God hath given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear, unto this day. And David saith, Let their table be more of a snare, and a trap, and a stumbling block, and a recompense unto them. Let their eyes be darkened, that they may not see, and bow down their back alway. I say then, have they stumbled that they should fall? God forbid. But rather through their fall salvation is come unto the Gentiles, for to provoke them to jealousy. Now the fall of them be the riches of the world, and the diminishing of them with the riches of the Gentiles, how much more their fullness. For I speak to you, Gentiles, inasmuch as I am the apostle of the Gentiles, I magnify mine office. If by any means I have provoked to emulation them which are my flesh, and might save some of them, for if the casting away of them be the reconciling of the world, that shall the receiving of them be but life from the dead? For if the first fruits be holy, the lump is also holy. And if the root be holy, so are the branches. And if some of the branches be broken off, and thou, being a wild olive tree, were grafted in among them, and with them partakest of the root and the fatness of the olive tree, Boast not against the branches, but if thou boast, thou bearest not the root, but the root thee. Thou wilt say then, the branches were broken off, that I might be grafted in. Well, because of unbelief they were broken off, and thou standest by the faith, but not high-minded, but fear. For if God spared not the natural branches, take heed lest he also spare not thee. Behold, therefore, the goodness of the severity of God, on them which fell severity, but toward thee goodness. If thou continue in his goodness, otherwise thou also shall be cut off. And they also, if they abide not still in unbelief, shall be graft in, for God is able to graft them in again. For if they were cut off of the olive tree, which is wild by nature, and were grafted contrary to nature into the good olive tree, how much more shall these, which be the natural branches, be grafted into their own olive tree? For I would not, brethren, that ye should be ignorant of this mystery, lest ye should be wise in your own conceits, that blindness is part is happened in Israel, until the fullness of the Gentiles be come in. 
and so all Israel shall be saved, as it is written. There shall come out of Sion the Deliverer, and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. For this is my covenant unto them, when I shall take away their sins. As concerning the gospel, they are enemies for your sakes, but as touching the election, they are beloved for the Father's sake. For the gifts and calling of God are without repentance. For as ye in times past have not believed God, ye have now obtained mercy through their unbelief. Even so have these also now not believed, that through their mercy they also may obtain mercy. For God hath concluded them all in unbelief, that he might have mercy upon all. O the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of God! How unsearchable are his judgments, and his ways past finding out! For who hath known the mind of the Lord? Or who hath been his counselor? Or who hath first given to him, and it shall be recompensed unto him again? For of him, and through him, and to him are all things. To whom be glory for ever. Amen. Chapter 12 I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. For I say through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, according as God hath dealt to every man the measure of faith. For as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office, so we, being many, are one body in Christ, and every one members one of another. Having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us, whether prophecy, let us prophesy according to the proportion of faith or ministry. Let us wait on our ministering, and he that teacheth on teaching, or he that exhorteth on exhortation. He that giveth, let him do it with simplicity. He that ruleth with diligence, he that showeth mercy with cheerfulness. Let love be without dissimulation. Abhor that which is evil. Cleave to that which is good. Be kindly affection one to another with brotherly love, in honor preferring one another. Not slothful in business, fervent in spirit serving the Lord, rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer, distributing to the necessary of saints given to hospitality. Bless them which persecute you. Bless and curse not. Rejoice with them that do rejoice, and weep with them that weep. Be on the same mind one toward another. Mind not high things, but condescend to men of low estate. Be not wise in your own conceits. Recompense to no man evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. If it be possible, as much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. Dear beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. Therefore, if thine enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. For in so doing, thou shalt heap coals of fire on his head. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. And this concludes episode 313. Everyone have a blessed and joyous day.